Ciao amici, this is Morena with Morena's Corner and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute portable go fishing game that you can make with your kids and it's just a fun thing that you can take with you to help pass time at restaurants or any other time you have to wait with kids and keep them occupied. Hey, fun for adults too. I made this project using this really cool product that I don't know why I've never heard of it, but I'm going to be using it a lot more often. It's called Foomp for fabric. It's awesome. I'm really having fun working with this. There's two different styles. There's the soft one and then the stiff one. And um, I'll be using both of these and kind of explaining the differences. If you've never heard of this, basically what it is is kind of like a thin foam and then it has adhesive on both sides and we're going to stick fabric to it and be able to cut it out and we can make things with fabric without having to sew or iron or use glue which makes this perfect for crafting with kids because you don't have to deal with the dangers of a hot iron and you don't have to sit around and wait for glue to dry. So let's get started. For this project we're going to need foam. Actually I'll leave that there. You're going to need fabric, scissors obviously, a template that I downloaded from the internet. You'll use that for tracing and cutting out your fish. Some craft wire. And for the fishing pole, we're going to use a button, a magnet, twine, and a dowel rod. So let's get started with the foomph. I'm first going to use the stiff one, right? So I have cut out a piece like so, and I've cut some fabric. I'm going to peel off one side of the adhesive, or to expose the adhesive, there we go. The stiff one is a darker color, so that's why I know the difference between that and the soft one. Take my fabric and just press it on there. You don't even have to iron it. If you have wrinkles, you just kind of smooth them out and they stick beautifully. Okay. Now I'm going to take the other side, peel off the backing to expose the adhesive. And before I put the fabric on, this is how I make my fish magnetic. I'm going to use craft wire and cut some strips and press them into the foam like so. Uncoil some more. Get the line. Get one more piece just to make sure I have enough wire there. Like so. Can you see that? And now I can stick my other piece of fabric on top, press it on firmly, and you can kind of see where the wire is there. There we go. And that'll help me out when I'm cutting out my fish because I want to make sure I have a little piece of wire in each fish, otherwise it won't stick to the magnet. So. Using the fish that I cut out from my paper template, I'm going to place it on the fabric, making sure that I get some wire in there. And you can trace it, or I just cut it out. There we go. And cut. And while you cut, the adhesive in the foam actually seals the edges of the fabric. So it's great. I've been playing, my kids have been playing with these fish for over a day now, and I haven't seen any fraying of the fabric. Also, what I noticed it did is the end of the wire got pushed into, I'm calling it the foam part of the foam. So I haven't found any dangerous ends sticking out of the fish. So I think that's the other cool thing about this product. It seals those ends there. And now I have a cute little fabric fish with no fraying 
and I don't feel any wires there at all. So cut out several fish. And you could leave them like that, but I think they're so much cuter decorated. So I'm going to use the softer foam. And I have a piece here that I cut. This time I'm only going to use one side with fabric. So I peel off the backing. Take my fabric scraps and press them onto the foam here. So this way I get to work in a couple of different colors. This one's fun. Some stripes. And yeah, let's get some of this leopard pattern here. So I've got three different colors there. I'm going to cut these apart. And then I can use this to cut stripes and triangles that will make cute little fins for my fish. So here we go. I worked on a few earlier, cut out several different stripes and triangles. This is what my kids really had fun working with. I gave them the little pieces and I told them to decorate their fish. So it's just like a sticker. Peel off the backing, stick it on, and then you can cut off the excess. Cute, right? Now we have the stripe. Or you could add a triangle and There you go, now he has a fin. Like I said, my kids really had fun with, my two-year-old just liked adding little fins to the fish. I had fun putting some stripes on. And my four-year-old really got creative. She wanted to put a little bit of everything on her fish. But that's all right, that's what makes this fun. The kids can be creative and they, it's safe, you know, you're not worrying about glue or hot irons. Now, to play with our fish, we're going to need a fishing pole. So, with my dowel rod, I simply tied a piece of twine around it, tied the twine onto the button, and glued a magnet to the back. So let me show you my finished rod. There it is. And that's been super glued on. And now you can just grab your fish, go fishing. If you want to make this a learning activity, you can make your fish in different colors and encourage your child to find the red fish or pick up the blue fish. You could put numbers on them or letters, or you could even do shapes, you know, pick up all the, the triangle shaped fish or pick up all the fish that have circles. There's lots of different ways that you could use this activity just for fun or even to make it educational. And to store it, to make it portable, I put it in a little tin and I decorated the cover with foomph, covered some fabric, stuck it on the front, cut out some fish, and just stuck them on there. Easy, quick, fun. I cannot wait to use foomph in other projects. I'm thinking this would make some really beautiful fabric flowers, don't you think? So to get more ideas for how to use foomph and crafting, check out Crafty Hangouts for some more fabulous ideas from other vloggers. And you can check out my website to get a full list of supplies and to get more pictures of the finished project. Uh, if you try it out, let me know. I'd love to hear what you think about foomph, and I'd love to see what you made with it. Hope to see you soon. Ciao. A presto.